Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be making a quick video on how to install the DZ mod for Armour 2, since a few people were asking me what exactly we need to buy, what we need to download, and that kind of stuff, and I didn't actually find any real concise guide on the internet on how to install either, so hopefully that should help out some of you guys who are a bit confused. So before I do anything, this tutorial is only going to be covering the Steam version of the game, so if you have a physical copy, I cannot help you. Uh, if you don't actually have a copy already and are wondering which route is the best, I'd highly recommend downloading this, well, buying the Steam version because it is a lot easier to install and, in my opinion, is a bit more convenient. So that's one I would recommend picking up. And the two games you're going to need is Armor 2 and Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. You can get these in a pack from Steam called Armor 2 Combined Operations, which is what I recommend. It doesn't really cost too much and you probably are going to put enough money, well, enough time into it to justify your purchase. So I highly recommend you pick up that and you'll then get both of these games. Once you've done that, just install both of them and open them both. Just open them both and close them so then Steam does all the procedures that it does when it first opens up a game, like installing DirectX for the game and that kind of stuff and the anti-cheat, just to make sure that nothing really does mess up. Once you've done that, you can then just minimise out of Steam and go onto your browser and type in this into your browser. There will be a link to it in the description if you're a bit lazy and just want to click on that instead. And there will also be a step-by-step -step guide in the description if you just want to go through that instead of listening to my voice talking about how to install it. So once you've done that, just right click on these and save link as for all of these. So just right click save as, right click save as, right click save as, etc, etc. Um, these versions might be different when you say it, but it doesn't matter. It'll still be a very similar installation, if not identical. We might add an installer in the very near future, but for now, this is the easiest way of doing it. Well, in fact, it's the only way of doing it. So just save them all into a folder where you know where they are. Once you've done that, just go to that folder. In my case, I've put them right here in downloads. Just make sure you've got all of these. If you don't have one of these, then you're doing something wrong, just make sure you go back and download all of them. And once you've done that, just highlight them all, right click and cut. And then just go computer and go to wherever you installed Steam. In uh, most people's cases, it will be this path right here, it will be a full path in the description below if you can't quite see what I'm clicking on. And it's right here, you can see a full path right there. And just right click and new folder and type at day C. It doesn't matter about capitalization, I just do it because it looks pretty cool. Then once you've done that, you want to make another folder and call it add-ons. Then you want to right click and paste or just control V all your stuff into that folder. Then highlight all of the actual raw files. Um, I'd recommend using WinRAW to extract them. I haven't tried any other program, but this is basically the best program for extracting out there as far as I can tell. So highlight all of those, right click and extract here and then all, extract all the files right there. Very convenient. Then delete and enter. In fact, you probably don't want to do that because you probably might mess, well you might mess it up. Just leave them there if you're not confident, but in my case, I'm sure I've done everything right. So just close, well, delete all those uh, files, but of course you can go get them back if you do really need to do so. Once you've done that, just open Steam again, right click on Operation Arrowhead, go to Properties, click Set Launch Options, and then type in the following. Mod equals at days, and no splash. This just makes it so there's no, uh, none of the, uh, the opening screens, like the developer name and stuff like that. It just saves a bit of time. And do not type this in, this is just for me so I can show you guys that it is indeed working and also how to join a server. So, so just type in this into your uh, launch options, click on OK, close and then you can double click on the game, click launch armor to combine operations or will not work. And it will then launch, you'll see some uh, tick boxes. It did take a bit longer for my first launch so if it does take a short amount of time just wait and it will eventually work, hopefully. As long as it doesn't crash uh, the actual little loading bar but it should work. There we go. Once you've opened it up, you just need to wait a short amount of time, and just to prove that it is working, you'll see a little uh, kind of indication that you guys can use to see if you have done it successfully, which is basically Armor 2, and then underneath it will have a mod name, which in our case is at days, but obviously if you install a different mod, it'll be something different. So you can see right there, Armor 2 at days, so that means you have installed it successfully. You might have messed up some of the, uh, the files, but you probably haven't, assuming you followed this correctly. Uh, and I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to install, well, how to join a server even, sorry. Uh, just uh, filter it by mission and then scroll down to D for days and you see right here is the servers. Uh, you, if you just wait a short amount of time, it will. I don't know why the uh, server list is a bit weird, but if you wait a bit longer, it'll actually display a lot more servers. You can see right there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of servers right there. Obviously, these ones, you probably don't have the right version. You need the beta uh, 
the beta version of uh, this game to make it work. But it doesn't matter, most of the servers, apart from two of them I think it is, are running that version. So you can probably play it quite successfully. And if you are kind of in the middle of an update, uh, you'll see the version right here on the server. So make sure that the version that you are downloading is the same as the servers. You might be downloading an out of date one. So if you do kind of um, install it and then come back after a long time, you need to make sure you are up to date, otherwise you will not be able to actually play the game. So anyway, I hope this has been informational. If it has, then please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you've got any questions about how to install it, or you've had any problems on any of the points, then just leave a comment below. Um, of course, like I said, there will be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you are confused by anything that I've said in the video. Uh, I hope you guys have fun killing zombies and getting shot by your opponents because everyone's nasty in this game. And I'll see you guys later.